good morning, good morning. Let's start off our lovely morning with a nice weigh in. Let's see where we're at. Looks like we're at 233 pounds on the dot. Oh my goodness, what the hell. I wasn't too happy by the number I saw on the scale, so let's change that. First things first, I'm going to wash all the equipment I'll need, which I'll leave in the description box below. I'm grabbing my cutting board. I'm grabbing some fresh spring water. First thing I'm doing is removing some of that water because I'm going to be adding ingredients to the gallon. I'm going to need the extra space. I'm using my excess water for some tea. So I'm grabbing all my lemons and I'm going to start chopping them in half one by one. A great tip I found was to actually roll the lemon. It releases some of the juices and it makes it easier to squeeze. I'm grabbing my juicer. I got this one at Walmart. It's not automated, but it does the job. The only measuring cup I could find was a half cup measure. The recipe that I'm using calls for two cups of freshly squeezed lemon and two cups of maple syrup. If you don't have an automated juicer, this can be very time consuming and quite tiring. So you want to switch arms if you can. I periodically check my juice to make sure I'm not squeezing too much and that I have the proper measures. I wanted to show exactly how much I was squeezing. As you can see, I got really deep in there, getting all the juices out. What you're left with is the pulp and the seed, and you're going to want to remove that periodically so your juicer doesn't get clogged. So next you're going to pour your lemon juice into the measuring cup and then of course into your gallon. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I know it could get tiring, but keep going. We're almost done. I'm cutting up more lemons. I need a little bit more to reach the threshold that I was trying to reach. Squeezing my life away, squeezing my life away. As you can see, Bay's in the background, didn't even offer to help. Now you're going to want to pour the mixture into your gallon. And please make sure you're less messier than me. It's pretty hard doing it with one hand. I actually had a little bit more lemon juice than I needed, so it didn't bother me that it spilled aside from the fact that I'd have to wipe it up. So like I said before, the only measuring cup I had was a half cup measure, so I'm going to pour four of these to make the two cups that I need. I'm then going to carefully pour in my one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. You can also do one and a half, but I chose the one. Then I'm going to give my mix a good shake, which I did off camera, and top it off with more water to make my full gallon. I actually ran out of water in the bottle so I used the fridge. I gave it one last good shake when I was done adding my water and that was it. I was all done. If you have any questions please feel free to contact me and as you already know please like, share, and subscribe.